Morning partners, we got a cut test video for you this morning. It's the mini nightshade from Vosteed. Uh, this is a cool one. Uh, if you follow the channel, you know I'm a big fan of the uh, first version, the full size version. Um, this is an incredible cutter with its uh, shilling cutter blade shape style, uh, kind of a banana shaped handle and blade with the tip pointing downward. This is an incredible, incredible cutter. So when I saw they came out with the mini, I had to try it out. This one's got a crossbar lock instead of the liner lock on the full size. Um, I kind of wish they would have kept it with a liner lock. This almost feels a little small uh, of a knife for a crossbar lock. Uh, but it's okay. It definitely works pretty well. Um, D10 is uh, not bad at all for a crossbar lock knife. Um, I can still get a full grip on it, even though it's a mini. Uh, pointer finger almost all the way to the tip. This thing, as you're going to see, uh, does incredibly well with utility cuts and slicing. The measurement behind the edge is 13 thousandths. Nice and slicey. Just about the same measurement behind the edge as the full size. Um, and the uh, blade stock thickness is 0 0.09, so real nice and thin there too. Crown spine, and um, for 65 bucks, I think this is a pretty darn good buy. Um, 14C 28 in blade steel. So, just wanted to show you these um, kind of side by side before we start the cutting. There you go, and let's get into it. Okay, here we go. Sipping my coffee here. It's early. So, here she is. You guys just saw the unboxing of this uh, this morning. Uh, as I was talking about in the unboxing, I was uh, skeptical about the crossbar lock on this knife. And um, the action is better than I thought it would be. Uh, but I still kind of wish they would have just kept this a liner lock. It's a small knife. It's a small mechanism. The tabs are kind of hard to grab onto. No, they're not hard to grab onto. I just wish they were easier uh, to grab. Um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I'm happy with how it cut, as you will see here in a moment. And let's just, let's start. This came with um, a nice factory edge. A really nice one, in fact you can see here let's start with some regular thickness cardboard we're gonna cut 20 feet of it there she is take a look take a gander let's freaking do it Nice full grip on this baby. It's cutting very, very nicely through the cardboard. I was having a little bit of trouble just holding the cardboard correctly. I still need to figure out a better system for holding the cardboard. Um, I can't hold it like I used to with my hand underneath because that's how I cut myself. Um, but, you know, if I, like, brace it up on my tailgate, uh, then the knife, you know, sometimes I, I go too far and I, I hit the tip of the blade on the tailgate, and I don't know, I just kind of, <laughs> I can't figure out a good way to do it. Um, but anyways, yeah, you can see this thing is passing through material quite nicely. I think the full-size one cuts cardboard a little better, just because you have more, more blade, more area for the cardboard to be trapped in you say like once or twice i slipped out that was probably mostly my fault but um you know the more edge you have the better for uh, cutting cardboard uh now the triple thickness stuff i mean like a breeze gosh <laughs> super duper 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 easy to cut 10 feet of that stuff So far, so good. You'll see the blade length comes into play a little bit later when we cut the strap. Um, 
the full size knife uh, destroys strap, cuts all the way through the two inch stuff easily. Um, and you'll see how this one does, but um, you know, that's why there's a mini and a full size option. Um, you'll see this, this size blade really excels at other areas. Let us try some leather, but let's check our edge first after the, all the cardboard. I snagged up a little there on something, but um, we're good. We're good. We're cutting paper easy. Now let's get to the leather. The leather. Oh wait, no, utility cutting, I forgot. Utility cuts first. Um, so this is a strong suit of the nightshade, both big and small versions. Um, this one might be even slightly better because you can get your pointer finger almost all the way towards the tip. You can put a lot of pressure down there. But look at how just unbelievably easy this is cutting through the cardboard. I'm not raising my wrist up high. I don't have to. It's just gliding through so, so easy. It feels good. It feels good to do utility cutting with this knife. The crown spine creates a real nice cushion for your pointer finger to rest on. And, um, man, it just feels so good. Let's try a curvy cut. And, oh boy, yeah. Really clean, really easy to go around the turns. It's gotten a cute tip. It's, uh, it's a pretty thin tip. It actually, the measurement behind the edge actually gets uh, slightly thinner at the tip. And usually it's the opposite. Usually it gets a little thicker at the tip. Action still feels great. So, so far, utility cutting is, this is the, uh, the strong suit of the mini nightshade. Let's cut some leather. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very nice. Just one pull through. Nice clean cut all the way through, creating little sushi rolls. <laughs> Very nice. Super, super good on this one. Alrighty, moving on. Let's get the old strap out. The two inch strap. So we don't have a whole lot of edge here. Uh, you'll see when I place it in the cut here, you'll see uh, there's only like a quarter inch of blade extra. Um, so there's, there's really no way this can go through all the way. Maybe, but you see we got eh, almost seven eighths of the way through, which is not bad for this, this length of blade. Let's do another one. A little bit less that time, three quarters of the way. Um, and yeah, that just has to do with the blade shape because the full size one goes through one cut all the way very easily. Let's try this hard plastic pallet strap stuff. Easy. Easy peasy. All right, how about some nylon rope? Half inch nylon rope. Here you can see what I mean by you're not slipping out uh, and how it like traps material. Your hand is at a 90 degree from the whatever you're cutting, but the blade is pointing downward. So it pulls it back into your hand, not towards the tip. Destroyed the rope. 
Where's our edge at? Are we still got a we still got an edge here? Oh yeah, not a problem. No problem. They seem to have done pretty good with this 14C28N. At least uh, judging from this test. I'm trying some chops on the rope. It's cutting real cleanly. Sometimes that's that stuff's kind of uh, difficult to cut down on a flat surface because there's so many thin little strands that usually there's some left over kind of clinging on. Doing a couple more utility cuts just because it feels so good. It's really amazing. Um, you do your cut and you're, you know, it, it goes through so easily that you almost think, oh man, did I not cut all the way through? And then you look and yeah, it was all the way through. It's pretty crazy. It just feels so so good to do utility cuts. It doesn't feel like any other knife you've held. It just feels it feels odd having that blade pointing down like that. I tried some super curves and holy shit, look at that. <laughs> super, super clean. Gosh. Yeah, this is a fun knife. If you've never held a nightshade, big or small, I would really recommend getting one of them at least uh you know if you're doing more utility cutting less slicing and you want a small very lightweight knife go for the mini uh if you're doing a lot of slicing and a lot of utility cutting you want something a little more heavy duty and large obviously go for the full size the full size comes now in um three deployment options you can get the flipper which is the original um the whole deployment which is the one which is the one i have and then more recently, they have a thumb stud version as well. So you can really get whatever you want with that. Um, it's a fantastic knife. And this mini version is really just kind of a downsized version, obviously. But, you know, it does all the same things very well that the full size does. Just not quite as good with the wide strap. Let's strap it up. We're doing 10 strokes per side to see um, how it responds to stropping. It was still cutting paper though, so we didn't even really need to strop it, but we always do just to see how well the edge comes back. How'd we do? Oh yeah. Sharp as shit. Nice long cuts. Those are so fun to do. Anyways, um, I just kind of keep cutting the paper. It's too fun. I'd say this is a winner. Like I said, I kind of wish it was just a regular liner lock. Um, because then you'd have uh, an even more snappy uh, detent. And these tabs on the uh, crossbar lock are just a little slippery, hard to, to grip. Um, but that's my only real complaint with the knife. Um, yeah, I really can't think of anything else negative to say. Cuts well, the action's good, um, solid lockup, good deep carry pocket clip. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think for 65 bucks, this is a great, great option. Like I said, you can choose the large or the small one depending on your needs. Uh, or just get both if you want, you know? That's what I did. Thanks for watching, dudes. Hope you guys have a great Friday. And I will see you tomorrow morning in the live stream. 6 a.m. Or, sorry, 6.30 a.m. Pacific. And uh, 9.30 a.m. Eastern. And, yeah. Adios, dudes. Please like the video before you bounce. And I'll see you later. Peace.